Right, so episode three of what we're calling Making Cables with Stuart. Um, today we're going to make a Klansman 7 pin to a 3.5mm 4 pole connector. Okay, um, and hopefully this is going to give us uh, left and right speaker plus also a mic option um, and this will be useful for potentially being able to record what is happening on our intercom system and potentially it's going to give us a hands-free function for phone um, but this primarily is going to be useful for us that we can have um, both speak this, this essentially plugged in a um, the iPhone through a lightning uh, adapter that will give us um, audio um, from from the phone so we'll have a go and see what we can do with this cable again um, everything that um, you need um, I'll try and list in the description and um, anything that um, any suggestions you guys can make to have the cables made better, I will always welcome them um, and um, we will try and, and potentially make the best cables we can um, to do these little jobs. Again, this is also that I can display the pins gower um, at a couple of events that, I'll, that I'll, I'm going to do annually with it um, so that I can demonstrate what what radios you would have um, playing in in the in the system, um, but it's all building up to um, a potential final build um, of our um, car stereo, which is going to play through the headsets uh, on the intercom system. So um, uh, hopefully that will all work, and we'll get to the point where we can have the working. Um, hands-free kit through that system so we're hopefully looking forward to that we've got a fresh, fresh coffee made so we'll get concentrating on making this cable all right so so far i've stripped a bit of the sheathing i've put all the earths together and i've um, shrunk the end of the uh, black wire because we're not going to be using that one so just to insulate it again um, so we've got the orange and blue which are our speaker left and right and a red which is our mic positive okay and they're all going to get soldered on to um, our um, plug in due course Right, so what I didn't do was I didn't put my shrink on the wire. And I didn't put my screw casing on the wire. And I didn't put my clear plastic insulator on the wire. So really big fail, especially when I was getting on so well. All right, they're on now, so we can go back to what we were doing. Get our earth on first again. So we've got the four of them on now. Just a quick, there's lots of bits of wire in a very small space. So just want to be careful there's not any pieces that are touching others. And I think 
think we're okay. So, here we are. Um, we've got our four pins wired up. Okay, so, move my solder and iron out of the way a second. We're going to uh, find the insulating plastic, which always loses itself in there. Okay. Get our unused wire out of the way. Just have a check as we're putting these together. Touch. Another check, I'm really So that seems to all be connected up correctly. So we just need to give it a try now. So we've got our four connection, three and a half at that, this end, and our seven pin at this end. And we'll go and see how that works. Um, what we need to do is we need to use um, a lightning adapter to be able to plug it into the bottom of the knife one. So that has your 3.5mm jack and a lightning connector at the other end. Uh, this one has a second lightning port on it so that we can um, charge the phone at the same time. So it should connect up like that. And 
then the phone would obviously connect in the bottom from there. It's working through the speaker cable that we made last time. Um, so we can play uh, music for a plug with a phone plugged into the speaker system and it is then playing through the headsets and through the loudspeaker system as we need it to. So we're, we're progressing on nicely to where we want to be uh, finishing up, which is with our uh, full entertainment system that is playing through the headsets and through the, the speaker system when we so desire it to be. Great. See you all again soon.